all the two props there. And Matt Stevens, internationally retired, of course, from England duties now, called out of international retirement. There he is by the Lions, having been a tourist in 2005. On the other side, Kian Healy, man of the match against Australia for Ireland, the 2011 Rugby World Cup. The Australians won't have forgotten that. And nor will Healy. He could well be a star of this tour. Lions penalty, and look at Phillips, despite all the effort that he would have expended, wants a quick one, and Faletau obliges. And Phillips again to Farrell, and now he's giving a, a pass that really he'll be very unhappy with, Giraldini. But again, you have to sense it's just not coming out of the hands properly. Rocafoco deserves to have a run, he's been preventing tries, that's a lovely step, inside it goes and Foto Ali'i is going to score the first try on the tour against the Lions. And a lovely barbarian try it was as well, it took them 70 minutes to get going at Twicken and they got going really from the first minute this evening, but that, a try that they had to wait. 56 minutes for a uh, lavish sidestep from Joe Rocafoco. Beautiful play. Farrell's pass is a poor pass. Jonathan Davis, who's played well, can't get to it. Here's the turnover, and now the former All Black shows his very best. A beautiful pass to him. Toby Falatau left for dead with a floated sidestep. Photo Ali'i just off the bench has the pace to get there. Rocafoco a few minutes ago. He saved a try, he saved seven points at one end. He's given Nick Evans a chance to make it seven the other way. Beautiful play from Rocafoco. It is a majestic step that Joe Rocafoco has, always has had. And Khan Foto Ali'i on his barbarian debut. And it's not lasted very long so far, has it? Just a, a short debut uh, and he's got a try already. And he'll be looking forward to the remaining 20 minutes or so. And that's what the Barbarians can take from that score. His determination not to fade away. Okay, but that kick, kick does now. fade away from Nick Evans just outside the post. A couple of things, just been speaking to the sports guys from the Lions. And the humidity's up to about 83%. We talked earlier, they felt by game time. They might have dropped, but the breeze has completely gone. It is deathly still down here. And that's why there's just no relief from the oppressive humidity.